am one of the managing partners of Beyond Cinema LLP uh, with my mother Vani Murthy. Brief background about uh, Beyond Cinema. We have been involved in production uh, since a decade or more than a decade. We have uh, produced a lot of TV serials for a lot of reputed uh, channels like uh, Gemini in Telugu, uh, Star Plus in Tamil, uh, Ma in Telugu again. Uh, and now uh, a new decade has started with uh, OTT platforms and I feel that this is a, a really exciting time for producers like us and, uh, and uh, viewers like you because now for the first time content has become the king where uh, um, before a decade back there was an ecosystem where you had to be part of that ecosystem for a long time for you to sustain in this industry. But today people like you and me can become a part of this glorious industry and that is my uh, interest in doing this um, with the uh, Cinema Stock Exchange who have come up with a very novel idea and we are part of that and we feel that in this way you can be a part of cinema experience, be an investor, uh, have fun making it and have fun making money out of it. So our film's name is Hamsa Nandini. It's an entertaining thriller. Um, and most of you know that uh, as many people who are in front of the camera who are important, uh, there are equal amount of people behind the camera who are important in this journey of filmmaking. The two most important people are director, uh, Manu Yagna, who's an experienced uh, filmmaker, and he's going to be the main force behind this film. And another person is Mr. Uma Mahesh. He has a background in uh, production and he has been part of uh, iconic company Prasad's uh, company in making film production. So these two people are, are basic workhorses who are going to take this project to new heights. In this project, our total cost, what we have come up with is a true string budget because we are from TV industry. We are equipped to uh, work in a shoestring budget so we have kept this budget very tight so that uh, we don't overspend or over waste in any of the uh, facets of filmmaking so our budget will be about 1 crore 35 lakhs which will include all the GST taxes and the government statutory taxes just to give you a breakup of what this uh, money where it will be spent uh, we are spending about 20% which is close to 25 lakhs on artist remuneration because I feel in OTT um, the value of the of the product is 90% uh, garnished on the uh, artists that are part of it. So it is a very important uh, and integral part of uh, the business side of it. So we have very good artists uh, tied up already committed to a project. Uh, we have a creative team. Uh, there we are about spending about 9 lakh rupees which amounts to about 7%. Uh, production team is about 5 lakh 60 thousand. These are all remunerations of people who are tied to our film. Uh, technicians would be 18 lakhs which is about 14%. Apart from that the production, uh, the day to day pro production that we do, uh, the rents on cameras, uh, the food, uh, the vehicles, uh, the um, uh, places where we shoot, the rental all that comprises of 30 lakhs which is about 23 percent so that's basically a approximate spend on uh, uh, this film and we are going to be making sure that there is no overindulgence in anything we have kept a very very tight script we have been working on this for the past three months the story has been with us for the past one year where we are developing and uh, we have sent it and we have talked to a couple of ott platforms on how what they would like since they are going to be our buyers uh, and uh, so we have done a lot of research on this what will work on an OTT and what will not so I think we have got a we have reached a 90% now the 10% is left on how we shoot the film and our director is quite quite equipped with that so we are pretty confident that we'll uh, do a very good product and we will be able to sell it to one of the renowned OTT platforms we have many today uh, by the grace of God there are a lot of competition and a, a very less content makers uh, like i said again i'm emphasizing on content is the king so today there are a lot of people who are looking at good content and that's where we want to step in so i hope you guys bless us and uh, i hope this is a long partnership between you and me and uh, we hope to do a lot in this so i would uh, 
um, oblige. I would ask you to oblige us in this uh, venture and help us raise funds in that so that we can go uh, to more heights.